Y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. What is going on, you guys? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we are here for another episode of Yes for the Mess. And the main topic at hand here is Nelly and Ashanti. But before we get into Nelly and Ashanti, we're going to start this Yes for the Mess off with Fallon Pina, okay? Yes, yeah, she's back in the blogs. Yes, we're talking about her ass yet again. Do I want to talk about her? No. But it's something to talk about, right? Right. So apparently, as you guys already know, Fallon and her boyfriend, Jalen, um, they have a YouTube channel. And apparently she went live. She did a live streaming and she was asking, you know, answering questions. And some of the questions that she answered had a lot to do with Simon Go Body. Of course, still pe people still want to, you know, connect her portion, Simon, together. Even though most of us are tired of talking about this shit okay tired of talking about it but however what we're gonna do tonight's source for both articles on Fallon and Nelly and Ashanti they're both from the jasminebrand.com that's our source for tonight so what I'm gonna do with this particular story I'm gonna read the article of course give you my opinion and then y'all gonna leave y'all's down below later on in the, uh, later on in the programming okay so without any further ado let's get into the mess okay now we're gonna start off with this article now Fallon Pina Previously, Fallon Gobadia appears to be an open book as she speaks on her former relationship with her ex-husband, Simon Gobadia. During a recent YouTube live stream, Fallon Pina took the time to chat with her fans and answer any questions they may have for her. One supporter asked the reality star if she believes that her ex-husband is expecting a baby with his now fiance, Portia Williams. They also asked if Simon Gobadia had a vasectomy. Fallon replied, I'm not exactly sure as to what procedure my ex has undergone after we separated. Fallon continued to reveal that she and Simon were expecting a baby of their own at some point during their marriage. However, that's not what she truly wanted. Throughout the course of five years, Simon and I actually were actually pregnant once before, but I did not want to have a child with that person. She then alleged that Simon can no longer have children. And after that, he was, he actually... He was actually, we had learned from the doctors that he was incapable of having children. This came from heavy drinking and smoking and he wouldn't change up his habits. So we were just, you know, we tried for years and I could not get pregnant. So as far as where we are now, I mean, I wish them well. Fallon, Pina, and Simon Gobadia both have children from previous relationships, but they never had any children together. As previously reported, Fallon Pina first came into the spotlight earlier this year when she was introduced on Real Housewives of Atlanta as a friend of Portia Williams. At the time, Fallon was still married to Simon Gobadia. Since then, she and Simon have divorced and have entered new relationships. Fans of Housewives of Atlanta were shocked when news broke that Simon was in a serious relationship with Portia Williams amid his split with Fallon. The pair announced their engagement this past May. Fallon is in a relationship with Jalen Banks, who is also the father of the baby that she's currently pregnant with. Fallon, we do not care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. As much as I sit up and I tell Simon to move on, girl, move on. Move on. Why is Simon still the topic of your conversation? Why is Fallon still the topic of Simon's conversation? To be honest, just like I said about uh, Simon and Portia, if I was Jalen, I would be pissed if Fallon is sitting up here pregnant with my baby, but she's still talking about her trifling ass, slimy ass ex-husband. I would feel some type of way about that real shit. Because why are we still talking about him? Why is he still the topic of conversation? Why do we have to even be talking about this man at this point? Who gives a fuck about him and what he got going on and why he couldn't have no kids and all of this other stuff? No one gives a damn. No one. So just let it go. Leave it alone. And we can move on. Okay? We can really move on with our lives at this point. Because don't nobody really give a fuck. Period. Like, I didn't even see the point. But anything that she do at this point, just make headlines and 
dumbasses like me constantly keep talking about to get a chick. It is what it is, so whatever. But I just don't get it, girl. Just just move on with your life. I wish Fallon and Simon would stop sucking each other's dicks, to be honest. Because that's all they ever do. They ride each other's dick all the time. They constantly keep talking about people. Well, constantly talking about each other. And we're sick of it at this point. The story ain't even hot no more. Like, we've been talking about this shit since May. It's now September. We don't care. Moving on. So, as you guys already know, there was a versus battle the other night with Fat Joe and Ja Rule with Ashanti being one of the premier guests of that situation. Now, you know, uh, she came out to perform Always On Time and um, what's the other one? Mesmerized with Ja Rule and she also performed What's Love with Fat Joe. Now, even though that was a very interesting versus battle, the other thing that was very interesting was the fact that Nelly was on stage on the same stage as her during that versus. But what people really picked up on and what people are really talking about is the fact that Nelly and Ashanti went, Nelly went over to hug Ashanti. Apparently looking like he's trying to get that old thing back. And with him hugging her, there have been some rumors sparked that they have, they may have reconciled at this point. And to be honest, I loved Nelly and Ashanti as a couple. They're both in 40 plus, looking damn good, looking like they my damn age. Beautiful people, and I just thought that they were amazing together. But you know, Ashanti had a whole album. Wasn't the declaration all about Nelly? So, with all them damn songs, I just know Nelly was giving her a hard ass time. Trust me. But, like I told y'all before, I have an article here where she vehemently denies that they're reconciling at all. And that she ain't single at this point in time. So, she ain't got time for Nelly. We finna get into this Jasmine Brand article right now. Ashanti and Nelly are sharing their thoughts after recently seeing each other for the first time after their 2014 split. This past Tuesday, on September the 14th, Fat Joe and Ja Rule met up for a versus battle. During the performance, both Nelly and Ashanti were brought out. Both artists had previously previously partnered up with Fat Joe and Ja Rule for numerous hit songs such as Get It Poppin' and Mesmerize. Additionally, Nelly and Ashanti have romantic history together. The pair began dating shortly after meeting each other in 2003 and then in 2014 they ended their long-standing, largely private relationship. However, the versus battle ultimately resulted in the former couple crossing paths once again. In fact, the pair was confirmed to have hugged during the performance of New York and this caught many people off guard. After the event, Ashanti explained her reaction to seeing Nelly during a chat with Fat Joe, Ja Rule, and Remy Ma. She revealed... I had no idea. I had no idea he was going to be there. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since we broke up. I don't know if it's been six years or something, so I didn't know what to expect. I saw him walking, and I seen him move you out the way, Joe, and I didn't know what to expect. She then got more serious about her brief inter interaction with Nelly. Ashanti in, um, continued, I wasn't expecting it, and that's the crazy thing. Wasn't nothing said. I seen him walking. His eyes got big. I didn't know what to expect, but it was positive. Ja Rule uh, uh, responded to Ashanti's comments by pointing out that Nelly's currently single while laughing. Ashanti replied, yeah, but I ain't. When pressed on whether she'd be interested in getting back with Nelly, Ashanti said, listen, I'm a very positive person. I'm very private. I wish him all the best and all that good stuff. And it's a lot of stuff that happened. A lot of stuff unresolved. A lot of gray area, a lot of confusion. That's all I'm saying. A lot of stuff happened. They hate to hear that part right. They want to hear what's that old thing. They don't want to hear about all the stuff that happened in between. Don't worry. I ain't going to tell you. Nelly also got an opportunity to speak on their interaction while appearing on the Big Tigger morning show. After host Big Tigger pointed out that Nelly walked across the stage to greet Ashanti, he responded, it wasn't just like that, man. I said what up to everybody, bro. I didn't want no uncomfortable feelings. Nothing like that. Everybody celebrated and I just said what's up. It was all good. But I said what up to everybody. It was cool, man. It was all good. It was a great night. What do you think about Ashanti and Nelly's comments? Share your thoughts. Alright, now that was the article from the JasmineBrand.com. This damn moth. JasmineBrand.com. Now... Alright, that was the article from the jasminebrand.com. Now here is what Scotty by Nature has to say about this situation. To be honest, I definitely understand what Nelly and Ashanti is coming from and how awkward that shit can be. Trust and believe me, I literally just experienced that tonight. Tonight. I was sitting up there with somebody that 
I uh that I dated. I was sitting up there with somebody who I really wasn't ready to even interact with yet. But I was up there with them and I did what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So I definitely understood where she's coming from. Now, with that being said, Ashanti seems like she's over Nelly. She don't want to be with Nelly no more. And that's okay. Uh, sometimes um, relationships end. It doesn't mean that it's a negative thing. It just means that, you know, there are some things that hasn't been resolved. And even if they do get resolved, that doesn't mean that we're going to get back together again. I know a lot of people want to see these couples come back together. Like, like she said, they don't want to hear the turmoil that we went through. They just want us back together. But that's not always going to be the case. Y'all got to understand that. That's not always going to be the case. Like, I got an ex that came into my DMs on Snapchat and said some shit like, uh, you need to go on and get back with me. My family want us back together. I don't give a fuck what your family want. I know what I don't want, and that's not, and that's you. I don't want you. I know exactly who and what I want. They know exactly who and what I want, okay? I just had a three, almost a four hour conversation with their ass on the telephone the other night, okay? And they don't even remember half the conversation because they was kind of intoxicated, but that's another story. However, I know exactly what it is with Nelly and Ashanti. I totally get it. Like, people be wanting y'all to get back together and they just don't understand none of that, period. They don't get it, they don't understand, and that's just what it is. So, yeah, um, but Nelly, on the other hand, you know, he just said that he just said what's up to her. It was ne it was never nothing that deep. Um, he just didn't want them to be uncomfortable. And sometimes when you see people that you used to be with, it, you don't want it to be uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like you do want it to be a positive interaction. You don't necessarily want it to be negative. You know, there may be some things that's not resolved. There may be some things that we went through that's not quite there in the best place. But you do want peace. And I guess that's what Nelly wanted. So it is what it is. But um, I wish... Both Nelly and Ashanti will, okay? I definitely do. And, um, yeah. And all I gotta say is, both of them are fine as fuck. Ashanti fine as hell. She's beautiful as fuck. And Nelly is still fine. Just as fine as he was during Country Grammar. That's all I'm gonna say on that, okay? Just fine as fuck, both of them. But with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scattered by Nature. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, click the notification bell button if you want to be notified whenever a video drops. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter and my IG are down below. I don't really be on Twitter like that. I'm only on Twitter when I'm talking about a show that's airing or if I'm just randomly tweeting my personal thoughts. Um, but I do follow back on IG, so if you want me to follow you back on IG, just DM me. Hit me up in the DM and say Team Scotty. You know what I'm Hashtag Team Scotty. I will follow you back. And also, if you if there's any topics that you want me to touch on for Yes for the Mess, just send it to my DMs. That makes it so much easier for me. With that being said, y'all, I'm out of here to my next video. Peace. We can always find our way to a fun moment, even in the shady bunch.